Wow, that's a cool one. That's a cool little ladder. <laughs> that's, actually, that's how we did half of our ADR right here. No true. Yeah. Absolutely true. It's great. So, when I was it was it was very different. It, it, it started out very different. I, I got into a, a, a rhythm of it, but it's just it's a much faster pace, um, both in, in, in pre-production and, and for shooting. And uh, just had to, uh, to kind of put my mindset in a, in a, in a different place, a uh, much more stressful place of, uh, of just shooting shooting much faster. Than It's really that. It's the, it's the schedule, you know. And it was a, it was a very ambitious pilot. It was, uh, you know, it, 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 it read like it read like a feature, and, uh, yeah. and so it's, it's, it's that. It's just really being smart about being very well planned out, very storyboarded, so that uh, you can move as fast as you can. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, especially going through the process of the and seeing how it operates and how it is different from the feature, and then. I think going into into the next into the next one, I have a, a better grip on what, what's possible and what's what's a, what's a bit too ambitious. How's uh, how's working in Hawaii? Like, what's the experience? Because whoever goes there and works there says something completely different. So, what is that like? Oh, really? Yeah. Like, just the people, the environment, the uh, mentality. I, I, we, I, 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 yeah, ours was great. I think also because you know. Uh, People identify themselves with Hawaii Five-0. I mean, mm -hmm. they grew up on it. A lot of people worked on the show. A lot of our crew worked on the show, and I think they really opened up their arms and, and doors to us because you know of our of our brand. Is this like an icon in Hawaii? Yeah, I, I really, honestly, uh, nobody said no to us. Anything we wanted to do, and I think it's really because of Hawaii Five-0. I mean, tw it was the thing was on for 12 years and really opened the doors to Hawaii for mm -hmm. a lot of people. So, cool. It's a good experience. <laughs> How much of the nostalgia factor is going to be there? I I think uh, here here's the thing. When I was I, I when I found that CBS was doing the show, it was my dad's favorite show. Mm. Uh, it was something that I, I grew up remembering it on TV and remembering how important it was in our in our house. So for me, it was really uh, important to honor that original show. I think if you're watching a show for the first time and you don't know anything about a Wi-Fi bill, you'll find it really fun entertaining show. If you're watching it and remember the old show, you're going to find a lot in there that's uncomfortable. Nice. There's a lot of touchstones in that show, uh, some not not as blatant as others, but there's a lot in there that really pays tribute to that original show. I, I feel like, you know, people always ask, well, what are the pitfalls of, of doing a remake of something? And I think the pitfall, first pitfall is not really respecting or, or being passionate about the original material. And I think what, what uh, what I think makes this this work for us is that we were all very passionate about that original show and understood what, what made that original show work, um, and and not throwing things out that then worked. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it answers your question. It, no, it's, that's it. Is there going to be one overarching arc to the show, or is it more serial? Uh, definitely a close-ended procedural. But there is a scene, every story, every episode will have like three pieces to it, which is the eight crime story, which for the most part will be solved. You know, sometimes bad guys get away and the show's a really real show. So we, you know, we don't always wrap things up in a nice neat bow. There's a B story, which is a character story, and there's a B a C story, which will be an arc that will play over the course of the entire season. Uh, and then open up a new mystery in season two. So the idea is, and knock wood, you know, we always hope that you get a season two or, um, but the idea is, if you tune in and you're not a regular viewer, you'll see a great show and, and enjoy it. If you tune in on a regular basis, there's going to be this mystery that's going to unravel, which will really pay off at the end of the season. So really, we want people to tune in, not just for the show, but to really follow that mystery through. Beyond the pilot line, have you directed any other episodes, or do you have plans to return? I have, I have plans to and would love to, but no, I haven't. I'm, I'm just in the house. And one more question. Any more Underworld action happening? Underworld action is, is in the works uh, at, at the moment, yeah, hoping that things come together. Uh, it's, all, it's all about the, the script. Excellent. Was it, was it any specific uh, sequence of the pilot, especially, I don't know, action stuff, something that the viewers can, can Yeah, 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 that's the thing that I'm trying to see.
I mean, there's a lot of them. I mean, there's a lot of great, um, you know, a lot of great moments in there. Um, I mean, I have some of my some of my favorites that, that aren't aren't even necessarily the action moments. Uh, you know, a lot of what's not been you know really presented yet is not to really put in a trailer a lot of the, the human moments and, and actually some surprising emotional moments that you dig out of these uh, you know sometimes like a very guy guy relationship and everything but there's um, there's some, some great character stuff too there that I think people are really surprised with. Nostalgia can kind of take you only so far sometimes. Sure. This being a procedural with there being so many of them where, where do you guys feel like you're going to make your brand and say, like, this is what's really unique, this is what we want to take to the procedure? I think, I, for me, I mean, speaking, you know, with, um, I, I, I think, my, you know, it's, it's, because it's, it is ultimately more about those characters, so it's not so procedural to where it is, it, it's, um, you know, where the main thing is, is the plot, about figuring out exactly, that's going to be a fun element of it, and that's cool, and we all, like, I, I love a mystery, I love being able to, but ultimately, it's going to be more about the characters and their relationships that I think is actually what's going to set it apart from a standard procedural uh, in, in my mind. Yeah, heavy, heavy on character. And also, I think our plots are, are really bigger, bigger stakes crimes. It's not the murder next door. There's, there's a lot of shows on TV that do that really well, and I think what we wanted to do was bigger stakes. Um, also, and also do it from a respect, perspective of everybody on the task force uh, comes, comes to this group with different experience. So the way they're going to attack a, a, a situation um, is going to be very different from, you know, m most shows that everybody sort of is trained the same way, whether it's, you know, in a police force or a crime scene unit or whatever it is, you know, we have a, um, a guy from the military partnered with a New Jersey cop. Partner. So there's a lot of perspective in terms of how they go about uh, the crime solving and the differences that each brings to that. that and, and, and the fact that it is, um, the whole purpose of, of, of Five O is that they operate outside of, of you know of, of the norm. So it, it will be different because it's, the whole purpose of putting them together even is, is a bit of a work outside the, the, the law. Like let's we, we, we occupy the, the, the kind of gray area. Do do whatever is necessary to solve the crime. Was there any consulting with actual Hawaii uh, police forces because there may be something really unique? That's brought to that island and the type of crimes that are done. Yeah, there. a lot. A lot, a lot. We spent a lot of time. Actually, I did ride-alongs with the HPD, and you know, just spent a lot of time talking to them, um, uh, and you know, sort of just mining their the, the crimes that are unique to that that area of the world. So, yeah, the pilot is so amazing. Last question. Best pilot I've seen in the last five years. Awesome. There we go. Are you yeah. That energy and that dynamic. Uh, yeah, actually, energy and dynamic. And I mean, it's you know, it's, it's setting up a, a tone as well in terms of like, you know, how much action or how many things blow up and what you know. Um, <laughs> but in terms of, uh, I'm kind of speaking for you, but the um, you know tone and and the, the you know the vibe behind it, I think is the most important thing. I, th I think you know one of the things is is really getting to love those characters. So I think we what we wanted to do, and I think we, we got that in the pilot. Is that you want to watch these people? But in terms of the action, in terms of the pace, totally we're, we're that's our goal is to uh, uh, relive that pilot week to week. We have some big episodes coming up, really big episodes with a lot of action, and I think we learned a lot on how to do action on a TV budget through the course of the pilot. Our pilot was expensive, but not 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 you know not astronomical, and uh, most people look at it and say, wow. You know, it plays like a film, but I think we learn a lot of tricks making this thing, and that we're bringing to the, the week to week of shooting this this pilot. And you know, we're shooting on our regular TV, you know, TV budget and TV schedule. And so far, we've been doing a good job getting it to, to look or match totally the pilot. So, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. Yeah.